Do you think we got DQ from Remix? I don't know. I hope so. Um, <laughs> no, probably not. I mean, I don't think so either. Aweb. We get a new type of Pika Ditto now. This rematch, um, I don't know when they played last. I don't know if they played earlier today. I think they did. Uh, I'm pretty sure in winners they played. So I know Caleb beat Sheer Madness as well. This is going to be. Oh, uh, we never changed that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. We can't do it all. Yeah. I mean, we can, but we didn't. <laughs> Yeah, you start talking, you forget that you have, like, other duties, you know? Oh, why did that neutral be work? I'm kind of mad. Yeah, honestly, not a lot of Falcon and not a lot of Kirby. No. Yeah, I think the only Kirby I played today was Dr. Saus. Um, Grandma was doing a pretty good run with Falcon. Uh, mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think Rocket may have used Falcon as well today. He m mostly played DK. I think he only, <laughs> he only played uh, Falcon the last game when he got 3 0 He was. By e -tap, I think. I think he lost. So, but uh, he played a lot of DK. I think he beat Free in with DK. Nice. That's a good dub. Oh, and, uh, you know, we were talking a bit, but it looks like Caleb's winning by a whole lot here. Yeah, bit. Crockett was Gandalf. No. Ah, I didn't know that. I, but yeah, I didn't know he was coming. I love dash attack at the ledge, just as a call out. It's not the best move. It hits like pretty low though, doesn't it? Yeah, I like it when it's just like barely oh, need that barely extra hit to like knock Yoshi off the stage without his jump or just catch Falcon off guard. But it is pretty risky. Yeah. I mean, if it works, it works, right? The uh, it's like great when if they like don't ledge GI it, because like, it feels like every time they do any ledge GI, it's like less hit stun, you know, so they're able to punish it. Mm -hmm. And we're off. And uh, Caleb going Falcone, which you know, feel free, I guess, but. Marvels is kind of a stud at this matchup. Honestly, yeah. That's been your word today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't know it until it's pointed out. <laughs> I know, I felt bad too, but you were like, oh yeah. Nah, it's great. It's a good one. Uh, this is not Smash Remix. You can tell by the two vanilla characters in Dreamland. I mean, I've seen a lot of Remix sets that end up looking like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> OJ's a specialist at that. Same. Shout out but OJ. But Dogs is in here. I don't want to upset Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, uh, we can bring out the list right now. The macros. Yeah. Yeah, we're to... I mean, rumor has it he pressed one button for the whole sequence. They're not on Goomba. And Marble's uh, grabbing to the Dreamland theme. <laughs> Interesting trade there, Nair. Up oh my god! That was smooth. smooth. I think he definitely had a finisher there, but... Oh no, catches him. DI's end for survival, good choice. Yeah, you could totally program a macro to do that. <laughs> oh no. And Caleb up two to nil. As they say, Marbles has to dig deep. That was two already, man. Yeah. He's done multiple reverse 3 0s just to get here in top cut, so I mean. He's no stranger to it. He has that no. kind of confidence in him right now where he's just, he's done it a handful of times today. He's like, okay, what do yeah, I, I think, to do? I think I did overhear him that he finds just that head-to-head -head against Caleb a little difficult. Mm -hmm. um, Caleb has, I think they've both gotten better in the past year, but Caleb probably a little more so. I would say, yeah, by a decent little chunk. But maybe that's just because I didn't hear about Caleb again until recently. I didn't see his results. Yeah. Until stuff 
from this past year. Um, and he's definitely a lot better than he was when he left. And he was already solid at a young age. Yeah, Marbles is very good. He, uh, I think, so like, he had some odd results last year. Uh, I think part of it was just like, just getting back into the game and the rust. <laughs> There's that dash attack. <laughs> but he's been, uh, like, top three in Florida consistently since I started playing. Yeah, I'd say since, like, it seemed like he got the warm-up he needed in Smash Con, and he's just been crazy good since then. Oh, just catches that landing. Oh, you hate to see that. Nice. And... Mm. Mm -hmm. Not against a keyboard player, especially, like... It's just not worth the risk. No. Um... Yeah, sometimes, like, kind of a jump and, like, short hop bear, but you fall off stage with it can cover pretty well there. Mm -hmm. It'll put you in a position where you can just double jump there after. And, yep, the double aerial. Just keep it simple and clean. Marbles, you have to. Yeah, doing a little uh, decent. as uh, sitting here under the platform, you know, chilling, waiting his turn. But it's like Caleb's openings are just so explosive with how accurate and like fast his fastballs are from the platforms. Yeah, right idea there from Marvels, but it's hard to space that bear without jumping into Falcons up B. <laughs> oh, okay, he gets where he needs to go. <laughs> no, not the F smash. Oh, it's pretty clean showing from Caleb there. The cheater controller wins again. That it does. And we're off to Grands. Yeah, we have Josh Brody to save us, see if uh, what he can do here. Caleb barely choked that, that set against Brody in winner's finals. And now he has to win two sets to take it. And it's just such a terrible feeling when you're up 2-0 in winner's finals. Yeah. And then you got to, that's really digging, like, both to get through loser's finals and then two sets of grands. Caleb, indeed, good.